children so for our next project um, R R for respect we have a new project and this is a finger art project so you will need a bowl that is bigger than your fist size basically like this a regular cereal bowl should do so just take that keep it upside down on a paper and trace it using a pencil I'm just using a pencil like a pink pencil now set the bowl aside now what I have is I have few acrylic paints here I'm just going to make a fist and color the back side of my fist okay Let's see how this goes. So I have colored the back side of my fist and I'm going to very carefully set it aside on the paper like that. Okay. Now take your left hand. Similarly go onto the paper or the plate where you have set your color. Make sure all, every part of your finger is colored. So I'm going to go and Make sure I have some paint all through. Just move your fist a little bit and make sure you have color everywhere. And now go back and set your fist down. Look at that. So it seems like my left feet is a little bigger than my right. So I'm going to go and see if I can do something about that that's fine we can even go in so now we are going to put the toes you just use a finger take some paint on the fingertip and then draw the toes like that So I'm using my thumb for the big toe, the pointer for the second, the middle finger for the third, the ring finger for the fourth toe and the little finger for the fifth toe. So I'm going to similarly get some colors and do the left feet. Okay, my second toe the third toe the fourth toe and the so once this is done we're going to wash our hands and then come back and continue with the project okay so what we have done is we've drawn a circle first then we took some paint on a plate you can choose the color that you want to use then we use our fist to draw or to imprint two feet we used our fingertips to put the uh, toes now we're going to draw a lotus around it so take your pencil I have a pink pencil here so I'm going to draw a lotus so draw a straight line that kind of curves at the tip and go next to it Go straight and then join this part. Go straight and then join this part. Go straight and join this part. So we are continuing to draw our lotus. Like that. So this is the petals of the lotus. We always refer to Krishna's feet as Krishna's lotus feet, right? So this is, we are drawing Krishna's lotus feet. So once you do this, then you may go and then color the lotus either using watercolors 
or if you have past pastels or if you have crayons or um, color pencils oops okay just watch out that the paint doesn't get on your finger just just like it did for me <laughs> Yeah, I used acrylic paint, but you may use, you get finger paint, you get watercolor paint. The watercolor paint, you just need to make sure that it is thick and not flowing. So just go ahead and finish the lotus. And that would be the... Art for today. So now, if you're using a pencil... Use the sides of your pencil and then shade it in so it can be dark on the outside. I'm just going to show you a couple of petals, okay? So dark on the outside and then as you go inside, you can just lighten it. And remember I used uh, a year bud earlier so you can use a, a, a year bud to shade this in. Or you can use this these are pastels so you can use that as well so you can use if you have different shades of pink you can use those. Let's see, so I have a pink here, I have a slightly different pink, I could use those as well. Really depends what you have at hand. You don't have to go out of your house to really buy anything. You can, you can even can... use red, like that one, but that one's broken. Oops, okay. I have a different pink here, a different pink pastel. So I'm just going to use those to show you how different things really can look, give your lotus a little different look. So you can darken it on the outside, you can have a lighter pink on the inside or a darker pink just like it did now. So this is dark, light on the outside, dark on the inside. This is dark on the outside, light on the inside. This is pencil. So use any medium that you have in at your home. And we can then color this lotus. All right. So this is our. I'll show you the finished product in class. Hare Krishna.